Hey everyone, we're going to check out how to reduce the size of our project. So currently we have a, well this project's not quite that simple. If we go down to, let's see here, 28, 29, what's the last level we got? Looks like 29, ba boom Let's open this up and then we'll check the properties of this project. I'm going to let it open on its own. Whoops. All right, so here's our project. It is currently 6.63 .6 gigabytes. Yow. All right, really big. Uh, Unreal does make large projects, but there's multiple ways to get rid of this. And as we can see here, this is not the simple level we just looked at. It has a lot more going on. It's got a nice build out, nice little house, got a full mission. A lot of it's just simulated prototype gameplay. Not a whole lot of complex gameplay. Good view in the background, lots of static mesh, brushes, cool events. So how do we go about reducing the size of this. So for one thing we can do for I'm gonna I have to close this really quick. If we go back to our project, this saved file, let's see how big it is. 2.32 gigabyte. That should be able to be deleted. I've deleted it multiple times and have not had a problem with something opening. What does happen is when you open the folder in a new uh, area and you start saving and adding multiple levels and stuff this file continues to grow so you should be able to get rid of all these auto saves and all of this without an issue it will regenerate itself the next time you open your project so that's one thing to do delete that now we have reduced the size by two gigabytes I have a build in here, which I forgot about, so I built my little Windows editor. How big is that? 2.5 gigabytes. It's huge. So if I delete that, we're talking another 2.5 gigabytes gone. All right, so that'll get rid of even more, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to leave that build there. And there's one other thing we can do to really reduce things is what we need to do is open up our epics game launcher and go to unreal engine we need to start a brand new project this is a clean brand new project so that current project is a third person controller project let me make sure of that third person bp yep so i'm going to launch my engine and I'm going to create something brand new that's clean and has no starter content or anything. So I'm going to go down here to games. Because that's the type of project I want to create. Next, I want to create a third person. Now it's going to drag in the third person character again when we do this. Just overwrite it. Um, I have had issues where I didn't start a project in the correct mode and it was missing some things and I had to reassign uh, the controller and how to start up, etc. Which is not a huge deal, but we want to make this as painless and quick as possible. So I'm going to recreate a brand new template. And we need to re pay attention right here. We do want it in Blueprint. Maximum quality is what they're going to create uh, a lot of your settings in the project, which is fine. Ray tracing disabled, which is fine. We're not creating beautiful lighting. Uh, we want nice lighting, but we don't need ray tracing on. We do want it for desktop. And we do not want starter content. So this starter content will add a bunch of memory. So no starter content. So let's name this properly. Let's call it, uh, what are we going to call it? Let's, can we make a new folder? New folder. Reduce 
Memory. Migrate. Select that folder. There we go. Uh, call the project migrate. And you're like, why are we calling it migrate? I will show you in a second. Let's create that project, brand new. So the good thing about this is there's no risk to the original project. The original project is going to stay exactly the same. So what you don't want to do is open your original project and start going through here and deleting a bunch of things. Um, it can work a little bit here and there for deleting some assets, but if you try to do mass deletions, and the biggest mistakes we make for memory are we have downloaded things for the Epic Game Store like this. So let's go to our game store, Unreal Engine, Marketplace. If I could spell. Whoa! Closed. Epic's Games Launchers doesn't want to stay up. Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade has a whole bunch of awesome free assets. And we'll look. Woohoohoo! Look at that. All these free assets to download. Got all this cool stuff to play with. Does that have a size in here? As we scroll down, this stuff's really fun to play with. Uh, the best thing you could use for infin free Infinity Blade assets is the particle effects. Particle effects are awesome for us to use, but we do not want to use the art assets. That's not a good thing. People can't tell what we've made or created. Avoid that as a level designer. So when I download this content, it doesn't say the size. Well, it's got 253 meshes, tons of materials and textures. I guarantee it's gigabytes worth of content. So you download that, you're playing with cool stuff, and then suddenly you realize your project went from uh, 500 megabytes to 4.2 megabytes, or gigabytes. So if you just go in here and delete the whole Infinity Blade project, I guarantee this is going to crash. It doesn't like that. So it's pretty hard to go through and pick out everything you need to uh, delete. So this current project is fine as is. We leave it just as is. We close it. We go back. We go back to our original project here, open it up. And as you can see right here, look at the saved content. It just recreated that. So it's going to be empty and have almost nothing in it. So your memory is going to be a lot less. And as of right now, we're going to open it up. You can see it take a little longer to load. It should have loaded by now because it's recreating this saved content. So that's fine. And if you move between computers, it's uh, you can clean out that save file. So here I am back at the same folder. I'm going to go to my content. I'm going to find my latest level, which I'm going to say it's number 29. I think that's the one. I'm going to open it. Oh, just to be safe. Check it out visually. I should probably play it to make sure. But what I could do is right click on this, go to Asset Actions, Migrate. So Migrate is a really good word. Unreal puts up some really wacky words and terms for their functions and special nodes. But Migrate is a great one because you're migrating the assets associated with this level into a new project and it works really well. I have yet to fail. The only thing I failed before, uh, failing meaning when you open the new project something doesn't work correctly. A couple things I've seen is the sequencer animation does not like to keep its associated uh, actors which is kind of a pain. Let's double check that. So I'm going to go to my cinematics. Sequence boss. 
So as you can see, everything's associated properly. There's no red here. What I mean by red is if this was broken, this laser gate camera would be red and it's like can't find object. So everything seems to be working fine. Now when I migrate it over, it might break these, which is not hard to fix. But that's the one thing I found that it breaks. So I'm now going to migrate. And remember, the original file remains completely perfect. It doesn't mess with this file. It will possibly cause issues in the new project, but since it's new, we don't care. Migrate. Here's your assets that it's going to migrate, and it's a lot of them. And if there's something on here you don't want to migrate, you're like, no, I don't want that. Take that out. Take that out. If you think something's just redundant and ridiculous, you can take it out. You know, maybe you forgot you had a water texture in there. Maybe you forgot you had a static bunch of static meshes buried under there. And you just go through and uncheck the box. And what levels did it bring? It's bringing multiple maps. And I'm not sure why it grabs multiple levels. There has to be some data connected there that I'm not aware of. So it seems to be bringing two extra... No, I'm, I have 29. It seems to be bringing 15 with it as well, which is not a big memory issue, so I'm just going to let it do it, migrate it over. So, okay. Now, what am I? where am I migrating this to? Well, of course, I'm going to my... All right, I lost my level there for a minute. I was on the wrong, wrong hard drive. Okay, back to the right hard drive. Reduce memory migrate. This is the one I just created from scratch, brand new. Click on it. Go into the folder. Now you have to put it in the content folder. I believe it warns you if you don't put it in the content folder, so it's okay. Content, select folder. Asset already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? So it's going to overwrite the third person blueprint. I'm going to say yes to all because I probably tuned the character's jump and walk speed. And I haven't had conflicts before where things didn't run because of it. So let's do that. Completed successfully. Didn't give me any errors. And this shows everything that was migrated over. Uh, this should run perfectly. This shouldn't have affected this project at all. Close that one. Oh, geez, I'm in my wrong hard drive. Keep jumping between multiple hard drives here. It gets confusing. Reduce memory migrate. There we go. Open. All right, the default level pops up. Aha, there's a good clue. If we look at our character here, it already has the helmet and sword on, so it's replaced the entire third person character with our character. That's a good sign. Let's go to content, filter out our level. And like I said, it brought in number 15 as well. I'm not sure why. The other one I migrated brought in like 10 levels. I'm not sure what the dependencies or associations are between levels. Because it was random. It wasn't like all sequentially from the last level down like 10 levels. It was, it was jumping between them. So let's open this. And we're about to see if our cinematics got broken. Oh, hey, it worked. Oh, very cool. The last one I did, it broke our sequences. And it doesn't break them. I just had to I just had to point at the camera again. I had to reassociate the camera. I just had to tell it this is where the camera is. Really easy. Wow, this one worked perfectly. How cool is that? Play. <laughs> Opening custom needs to be working. Ah. 
I'm stuck in the mission. Let me out. I don't want to watch the mission. Everything seems to be working. Oh. Just felt a horrible... Oh. Looks like we have a hundred percent victory. Go get my sword. Oh, it makes me go to the door first to get my sword. All right, well, I'm quite confident this worked. Let's check the save rings and memory. Obviously, there's no build, so that took out about 2.5 gigs. And the savings is. Ooh. 1.6 megabytes versus, well, with the build, it would have knocked it down a good 2 mega, uh, gigabytes. So that's a huge savings. So short-term solution, delete your save file. You'll have to rebuild the save file when you open it, new in the, open it again or a new computer. Not a big deal, but migrating it to a fresh project works very very well and I have yet to fail but I did have that one time where I did have to reassociate my sequencer files so it only took me like you know five ten minutes to do if you're up late it could be a little annoying but nothing too big all right hope that helps everybody reduce that memory so we don't have to carry around six gigabyte projects thanks for watching bye bye